Today we will be reviewing the Lian Pearl K100 Portable Photo Printer. Here is some manufacturer information over here. And a little fun fact about this is that it doesn't use any ink. So that being said, let's go ahead and let's open up the product and see what we have inside. Over here you'll see that there is the main product, which is the photo printer. Already I can see that through the clear plastic wrap, it's a very beautiful color, very unique. It's like a light green and very glossy. Underneath of that is our user manual, our charging cable cord, as well as our starter pack for our photo paper. So let's go ahead and let's go into more of the features on our photo printer. Right away, just based off of appearance, I can see that it's very good looking, glossy and lightweight. And at the bottom over here, we have our feeding area for our photo paper to print from, the USB interface, as well as on the side over here, we have our power button. When you slide up over here, it will lock and allowing you to place your photo printer paper inside. In order to close it, you're just gonna go ahead and you're going to slide it back down. And once you hear that click, it should be locked in place. And if for whatever reason your machine is halted, you should be able to put a pin within that little hole by the reset button and be able to shut down the photo printer. First, we are going to download the app, which you will find that QR code within the manual. And you're just gonna take your phone and you're gonna scan it and a link should come up. Once that link comes up, you're gonna click get the app and install it. So before being able to select a photo and print it out, we're going to open our starter pack. It will give you a smart sheet followed by a couple different sheets to be able to print out some photos. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna enter it inside of here. Over here is the color calibration sheet that will eject before you're able to print out any photos and this will go on the bottom first. And we're gonna take this over here and just gently slide it in like so. In the bottom left corner, you'll see a little pen button and you're gonna click on that. You'll be able to make this into a Polaroid pin print, a no crop print, a bordered print, which I'm going to hit bordered, but you can see all the different types of prints just based off of your app and how it should print out. So I think I'm a bigger fan of that bordered type look. You can also choose amongst many different filters on the app and go through them and see which one you like the most. You can even adjust the enhancement as well. In my case, I'm gonna go ahead for a original finish. And you can adjust your brightness, which I'm gonna make it a little bit darker. Your contrast, you can sharpen your look. There are so many features on this app, as well as your sharpening look, which makes you look more chiseled, saturation, or a shadow. Once you're done, you're gonna hit done. And then you can print out one, two, three, however many copies you would like. And once you are finished that, you're gonna click print. And it will give you that notification to not hit the exit button during printing process. The side button will have a green blinking light to allow you to know that it is printing and you'll be able to hear it. And it will let you know when the printer itself is calibrating before the printing of the photo. And our app just notified us that our printing is completed. So you can click the home button and go about that whole process all over again. So let's go ahead and let's check out the quality of our photo. So when looking at the photo, I can tell that it is a very good quality. I can see the border that I've picked out for my photo. Again, there are multiple different ones you can pick from by the app, as well as being able to edit, highlight, 
everything for this photo. So you'll really be able to see the darkening that I have put on this photo as well as the contrast that I have edited. So the app also has a profile button in the right corner where you can click on the store and be able to order more packages of photo printer paper. The highlight of this new mini photo printer is portability and the ability to print immediately. So we would love to show you by taking a picture and printing it out right away for immediate printing. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click this check button at the bottom of the app now that we have our photo taken. And again, you can print as many copies as you want. In my case, I'm just gonna keep it the way it is and hit print. And here is our end result. You can see that once you print it normally, it doesn't have the border or anything and it covers the full paper. The Leanne photo printer can be purchased on the Leanne website. And you have three different colors to choose from ranging from pink, white, and green. And the product here only costs $67.99. To conclude our review on the Leanne K100 portable photo printer, I will say that I love the fact that it has that DIY photo via the app where you can enhance your photos with filters, effects, and borders. I also love that it has that Zinc Zero ink technology that is waterproof, tear resistant, and smudge resistant, so you don't have to worry about your photo getting messed up. It also has a photo paper that has an adhesive on the back. So if you wanted to, you could also peel off this back part over here, being able to put this on, say, your notebook, the back of your phone. It also has that Bluetooth transfer for iOS or Android, which is very handy. You can use it on your tablet, your phone, and you'd be able to bring this product with you anywhere because it is pocket sized. So that is definitely a benefit. So if you are in the market for a portable printer, I definitely recommend the Leanne K100 portable photo printer because it will fit your needs best. And you can also buy separate photo papers via the online store on the app or via the link in the video description. And we will see you guys next time. Hopefully you liked our review.